What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today I've moved Mookie over from right to center, bringing in Trey Turner, Nick Castellanos to first base, but that's not the biggest addition to our team. The biggest addition is 99 Vladimir Guerrero, senior I guess we got to say now, and Vlad was one of my favorite players growing up, even though he was a Yankee killer for a while with the Angels, Vlad was just one of those players that was so fun to watch and was just one of my favorite players. Like, even, like, Ken Griffey Jr., my second favorite player of all time, hated the Yankees. I don't care. I'm a Yankees fan. Yeah, I loved Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> but uh, Vlad is sick. 122 contact, right? 125 contact left. And as you can see from my Twitch notifications, I am live right now. Twitch.tv slash bangle. Link is in the description if you ever want to hang out in here while we do some of these live. 107 power right, 112 power left. Amazing. Fielding is not as bad as it looks. Because he has 77 reaction, which is good, and 81 speed, which you guys can see a little bit more clearly now. 68 steel, not amazing. 86 base runner aggressiveness, doesn't really do anything. But he has a cannon, 99 arm, 85 arm accuracy. Should be pretty easy to hose guys down. And uh, once you parallel him up a little bit, 80 plus reaction and then 80 plus speed is going to be very, very good out in the outfield, I can promise you. So... Uh, this is probably the best right fielder in the game. I love Vlad. I have used him a bit in BR. I was having a really, really, really huge off day, and um, it didn't go well. So I figured, why not try him out on Hall of Fame, where I'm super bad at the game, and we're going to see how much of a disaster this is. All right, we are playing. Oh, shocker. Jacob deGrom. Shocking. His team really isn't anything crazy, though. Which means I probably should be scared. This guy's probably going to kill me. He's got Jonah Heim in there. We'll see what happens. All right. Mookie was not exceptional in my debut with him. Okay. So the shadows are kind of weird here. It is Hall of Fame, thankfully. But that doesn't make DeGrom super easy. Or does it? Mookie bets down the right field line. Big hit with Mookie, of course, not in his debut. 80 speed. We're going to hold two. Not a bad start to the game. And here is the player of the video. 99 Vlad. Oh, that was the pitch. Can't miss that. Can't miss that. I pulled straight down because I'm bad at the game. And he just blew it right by me at 102. All right. That was pretty cool. <laughs> That's a strikeout. Dude, every check swing for me is a strike. Every time. Thank you. First one I didn't try and chase. Kyle Schwarber's going to draw a walk. We have runners on first and second. Two down. And yeah, it's a great, great animation there. Thanks for letting me watch that. Come on, Acuna. Bring me back to the old days of ranked seasons for 21. Did he play? Did he homer? Yes. Pieced up by Acuna. Three run shot. I'm garbage, dude. All right, this might be pretty easy. 111 with Vlad. I've only thrown fastball so far. He hasn't shown any interest in actually swinging at them. It's funny, he's using outlier fastball to Grom, but doesn't seem to have any clue about how to hit it. He's too early on that. What is he sitting on, 115? He might be so early on this. This to Grom changeup is so disgusting. It's so good. And that's actually going to be hit to the gap. Here's a chance for Vlad. Nice little animation there, but that's going to be an easy double, even with 99 arm. He's clearly got a cannon, but it's not going to be enough. Back to the changeup for strike three. Kind of mislocation. Doesn't matter. It's actually in the perfect spot. Yeah, DeGrom is really easy to pitch with. Ah, got me out in front. Really just oddly located slider. And sometimes that's going to be effective just because it's in such a weird spot. But here's Fernando. Moved all the way down to seventh in the order. <laughs> like, I feel like I don't have to throw anything else but the fastball here. The guy, for the most part, just can't touch it. I'm sure he's going to adjust and be all over it and kill me. <laughs> That's just how that goes. But, you know, until then, we're chilling. Oh, what a chit. What a changeup. What a pitch. 
Jonah Heim in the lineup is pretty odd. I'm not going to lie. I don't really think he has the contact to hang. <laughs> but you know what? Hats off to him for trying somebody different. Like, it's a cool card. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure he can hang with the, uh, the guys like Jacob deGrom up here on Hall of Fame and Legend. They're moving back, but it's still a little bit difficult to see the ball still. Maybe by, like, the fifth or sixth inning it'll be okay, but it's not okay right now. Mookie having a shift kind of makes no sense to me, but... Oh, just missed it. Stayed back on the changeup enough, but pulled down a little bit and was actually late, really, by MLB The Show definition, where I'm just slightly the wrong side of perfect. Pretty much late, but here is 99 Vlad. Player of the video, I'd love for you to do something here, Vlad. It's going to be a ground out. Not good. It's just, uh, again, I know I'm complaining about it. I just can't see the ball. What a pitch from DeGrom. Yeah, I mean, we're dealing. It's just about actually being able to hit. And the shadows are, they're almost better. Like, shocker. I was able to track the pitch perfectly. Slider hanging down the middle. Ripped by Chip the Ripper. Chipper Jones, leadoff double. We need to get that run in. We need to get that run in. It's a good pitch. Oh my god, we're going to fluke him. We're going to fluke him. Such an awful hit. We're going to send him home too. Okay. We didn't deserve the run anyway. All right, you need to get to second at least. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, that didn't work out all that well, but I didn't deserve it anyway. So, not mad about that. Good pitch. Just a good pitch. All right. Still struggling, but that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. It's not like that run on third would have scored from a strikeout. And I'm out in front of it. Or just over the top, honestly. Castellanos not going to leg this one out. The dude keeps throwing a slider in just a... I mean, it, clearly it's effective, but like, what is what is this? Who throws a slider up and away in real life? Like, why is that the pitch? <laughs> and another strikeout on the changeup. That's another thing I don't like is pitching. Like, against the same pitcher that I'm using. So, like, Jacob deGrom versus Jacob deGrom. It's like, he's just going to steal my pitches and beat me with things I can't hit. But to be fair, I guess I also can't hit anything. So, might not be too much of an issue. And I got him on a changeup. He's just taking the fastball. I kind of don't blame him. I also have not shown him the curveball. I have not been able to hold back on this pitch at the plate. And he barely gets a piece of that. It felt like he was able to stay back on it, though. He was a little early. But it wasn't a super dumb swing. What if I put it a little bit more inside? Mm, that should be strike three, but okay. I think we'll just dot him up. Strike three looking. On to the top of the fifth. Ooh, we got a swing away on it. He just takes it. He just takes it like that. Unbelievable. All right, finally inning over. Fernando, I told you. It's every game. Can you even see the Tatis jersey? I don't know. Fernando Tatis Jr. puts us on the board first. Fastball away. And we sent it. Up, up, and away. Fernando Tatis Jr. He homers every single game. Every game. What, like... Change up, up, out of the zone. You could actually throw any pitch to me. And I'd be like, wow, man, that was a good pitch. I can't even touch that. Any pitch. A changeup that never was a strike. But to be fair, like, who throws that? No idea. And another strikeout. How many strikeouts do I have right now? I know he only has one hit. I feel like he struck out probably... Let's see. Four and a third innings. So, I would say maybe as eight strikeouts right now. Something like that. 
And we could get another here. I'm hoping this guy is going to try and turn on the fastball like he's been trying to do a couple times and just be super early on the change, but he holds back. I think we can paint a fastball low and away and just get him. I didn't get it where I wanted it. That's the problem. It's strike three if I get it where I want. This could be strike three anyway. He thinks I'm going back to it. Yep. Strike three. Judge goes down. Oh, I'm way out in front. I thought it was that fastball away. He's been throwing fastball away to a lot of right-handed batters to start counts. And he didn't do it, this at bat. So I kind of bet on fastball there and didn't get it. My numbers with Vlad, oh, so good. I'm hitting like 088. I have used him a little bit, so they're not looking good. But Chipper doubles again. Chip the Ripper is back. 3-2. Do I try and steal a chipper? Saucy. Yeah, that was a really... That was sick, dude. I love how chipper slides into third there. Uh, I should have taken it. It was off the plate. Saw it was off the plate. Didn't, ta didn't take it. I'm bad at the game. I say it. It's not a joke. I'm not good anymore. I used to be okay. I'm not even close to okay anymore. I'm legit terrible. Think it's a fastball, please. He just takes it. He, here's the thing, though, is like, no offense to my opponent, because I know I'm terrible also, but as you can see, he's literally not good enough to take that pitch. I think he's just guessing. He's going to leave now. Oh, he's just going to go to a pinch hitter. All right, so I am, I, I'm not, I'm, listen, I don't know why I'm being mean, right? Because like, I, I get that I'm bad too. It's like, you know, the pot calling the kettle black, but... I think I'm slightly better than he is as I put a change up, just up, <laughs> down the middle. That could have been a really good time for a home run there to shut me up. Ronald Acuna, get up. Did he play? Did he homer? Yes, yes. Ronald Acuna, Apo Taco, nearly 110 off the bat. Is that a fastball? I think it was. That was crushed. Oh, that's right down the middle. The fact that I just missed that is disgusting. That's a home run pitch, and I was late and underneath it. No bueno. Not good. Tatis, I think I'm just a little bit late on it. Yep, wrong side of perfect. Auto out. A little under it-ish, I guess, too, even though it's fully in the PCI. And we're going to try and steal second here. Trey Turner's in there fairly easily. And now a bloop single should score Trey Turner. Runner in scoring position. I like that. And DeGrom hits it up deep to left field. This one caught at the track. I thought it had a chance. And it almost got out of there. It almost went. Oh, that would have been so good. Just missed it. Strike three. Vlad Jr. goes down. Making his dad disgusted in the uh, other dugout. But also, I haven't done anything with Vlad either. Vlad Sr., so. Like father, like son, I guess, so far in this game. And that's strikeout. Yep. Number, like, 18, probably. DeGrom dealing. When he thinks it's a fastball, it's not. And when he thinks it's not a fastball, it is. He actually did get on that one a little bit, just late. And Vlad Sr.'s there for out number three. All I want is a hit, at least, with Vlad Sr. He hits second this inning. We're up only 2 nothing, And he hits Mookie. All right. Big spot. Big spot for Vlad. 0 for 3 this game. Let me run into one. Ah! I'm playing like Vlad in real life this game. I'm just swinging at everything. I need to wait for a mistake. And that one is a mistake. Vlad Sr. goes deep. Take notes, young gun. Vlad Jr., like four strikeouts in the other dugout. Vlad goes deep. We're watching it. Deep to center. Vlad's going to watch that one. No doubter. No doubter. Watch it fly. Let's go, Vladdy Daddy. Chipper, no doubter. Back-to-back -back jacks. 
Dude, Chipper's having an unbelievable game, by the way. Two doubles and a homer now. Eight total bases for Chipper. Glad to see it. Dude, yeah, bring in Deekman more often. I wish this happened earlier. I wish this happened earlier. Oh, how do I miss that with Acuna? Dude, look at that, though. That's the definition of wrong side of perfect, automatic out. I know I just homer with Chipper on wrong side of perfect, but look at that. Like, you can't square it up any better. You really can't for a home run. And uh, just a weak flyout, really. He's going to intentionally walk to get to Fernando. We have a death wish. He's going to intentionally walk Fernando to get to DeGrom. I, I guarantee it. Yeah. Trey Turner gets walked to. And he wants DeGrom. Hey, he almost homered last AB. All right, everyone wants me to try and bury him, so... Salvi's coming in, 125, 125. It's bullpen time. He's going to go to a lefty, or a righty, excuse me. And it's not going to matter. Yep, here's Lee Smith. Here's the thing. We've had this saying on the channel for a while, and usually it's more applicable in Battle Royale. But it's, if you intentionally walk me, it's just an extra RBI for the next guy. And I usually, and this is not like exaggeration or hyperbole, I usually hit a home run after being intentionally walked. So this would have been the ultimate time. But of course, I'm talking while playing and I'm late on a cutter. Brutal. And his genius, genius managerial decision pays off by walking bases loaded. Big Poopy's been shit in the bed lately. What can I say about David Ortiz? But we are just six outs away. The fact that he's timed up at that slurve means he's going to be so, so late on the fastball. We were not going to go to any other pitch there. I mean, props to this guy for continually going to pinch hitters, just trying to do anything, not giving up. And Matt Olson does get his second hit of the game. Mookie's out there in center, and Olsen will roll in his second with a double. We are not out of this yet. And strike three on a change up up. I'm getting funky. Vlad's going to hit this inning, though. Who will he be facing? It's going to be fun to find out. It's going to be Lee Smith, probably. I waited on the change up. I really did. It's a fork ball, but, you know, same pitch, pretty much, you know, same idea, at least. Mookie starts us off. Setting the table here for Vlad Sr. with a two-run home run last time up. And he's going to bring in El Bombi, Adolis Garcia, into left field for Matt Olson. Let me run into a heater. There it is. There it is. It's the wrong side of perfect, guaranteed out. Oh, my God. I'm all over it. Oh, that's so brutal. That's so brutal because you're really... It'd be hard to hit that ball a lot better. That's so sad. But we are back. Chipper can't stay hot. He's going to ground out into a double play here. That ends our half of the ninth inning. But we're in a position where we can save it. Close this game out. Non-save situation, I mean. But, like, you know. All right, we're going to throw a crazy slurve here. It's strike three if we can actually locate this. <laughs> and we did strike three Fernando should be able to get the out here Turner goes down I am a call him rich gossage now and Fernando with a try here that is out number three game over and Vlad Jr. goes down you know what not too bad there not too bad kind of a fun way to end it as uh, Vlad Sr. watches his child lose to him. <laughs> but he did homer. Chipper gets player of the game. Offensively, three for five. I don't think anyone else had more than one hit. And then DeGrom, obviously, seven innings pitched. Allowed one hit, 17 strikeouts. Very easy to choose the overall player of the game. But Jacob DeGrom also, even though he won, got the loss. And that really doesn't help us out too much. We only get up to 866. Parallel one DeGrom. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Vlad did homer, thankfully. Doesn't always happen that way. So this was uh, not, not too bad of a game. We ended up finding our offense a little bit. But it is tough. It is tough for me in Hall of Fame. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.
me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Play with the best, let them know. Get off the track, the train's coming through. Yeah. Promise you get in my way, then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah, yeah. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.